I've got breaking news, breaking news. Syria has just opened fire on a Turkish patrol. Turkey returns fire. 15,000 troops from 18 different countries are now prepping in Jordan for a Syrian invasion. Breaking, breaking news. Syria has opened fire on a Turkish patrol and Turkey has fired back. Western sources claim international forces will stay in Jordan after joint military exercise to prepare for a possible intervention into Syria. A joint military exercise scheduled to take place in Jordan next week is aimed, among other things, at readying forces for a possible intervention into Syria, according to Western officials have told uh, the reporters here on this. Uh, and look at this. Uh, 15 thousand soldiers from 18 different countries are set to take part in this eager lion of 2013 drill. The drill will include battlefield logistics, humanitarian exercises from troops from Britain, Bahrain, Canada, Czech Republic. Now the Israel will not take part in the drill but will continue its red line policy against armed shipments to Hezbollah. According to one Western official, forces remain on the ground after the drill in case the need will arise to intervene in Syria. Folks, this, the, the, the drumbeat of war, the war, the rumors of war, Russia sending S-300 anti-aircraft missiles. These are supersonic, super-powered. I was talking to Joel of Jerusalem Live on my broadcast this afternoon. He said these missiles have the ability when fired, they, they can lock onto 100 targets, but when they're fired, they can, they can still shoot out and hit 12 different targets. Supersonic speed. The Iron Dome that's in Israel doesn't have the ability to shoot them all down. This is, and, and so Israel's saying to Russia, if you send those 300, those S-300 missiles into Syria, we will go blow them up. Meanwhile, American President uh, Barack Obama heard from John McCain. McCain says, look, I've identified the good guys. Let's send some arms. Obama has called on the phone to the Pentagon, said, give me a battle plan. Give me a no-fly zone plan and include Britain and France and maybe some other countries in that. Meanwhile, we have 15,000 troops already in Jordan, representing 18 different nations, going through a weeks-long drill and are going to stay there after the drill. They were scheduled to go home. They're staying in case called upon to intervene in a war. Russia is telling um, Israel, you better not shoot these missiles that we send. We're sending Russian officers and advisors along with these missiles. If you fire on these missiles in Syria, you're firing on Russian troops. So this thing is starting to get ugly, folks. Breaking news, breaking news. The Huffington Post is talking about it. Investment Watch is talking about it. Others are. So it's breaking news. Things are getting very intense in the Middle East. I'm Pastor Paul Bagley. You better give your life to Jesus Christ because we're really, really seriously living in the last days.